Hello everyone, Srenton here. Today I'm on the same world that I built the little test uh, subway hub station and a few other things for redstone. And I'm going to do another little redstone video for you guys today. Now this particular circuit, I remembered it from back when a redstone dot looked like this center point rather than this right here. And at that same time, you couldn't connect to a repeater with redstone. Just by passing by it, you had to do either a branching connection or use a block to power it. And this is the circuit right here in its original form. Currently, it is, that is not functional because it relied on the mechanics at that time. And what it was is a player direction detector. As you can see, it doesn't work at all. These lights would come on to indicate the direction. So what I did right here is some very minor modifications to the circuit to make it work with the new redstone mechanics. And as you can see, if I go this direction, that light comes on, reset the circuit, go this direction, light comes on, reset the circuit. Now the basic idea of this is that you're going one direction over the pressure plates and, excuse me for a second here, I I feel like I have a burp coming up, but it's not coming up. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. But anyway, you're going over the plates in one direction. And what it does is holds one line unpowered and the other line staying powered. And if I can break this glass right here to show you with the other side. So first this goes off. That, uh, repeater is held off, then another repeater, uh, another line over here that's being turned off at the same time, and it's going over there, but that doesn't matter for what I'm showing you right here. This is the line from the other side that's doing the same thing that that line's doing, so we can look at it instead. So that line's powered, this line's powered, that torch is off, that line over there is off, that torch is on, that line's on. We go to the next pressure plate, as you saw that little flash there, that was a signal to indicate that this direction is going. If we go the opposite direction, you'd see that not much happens over here. This line coming from this side is off, but it turns back on before this one goes off so the torch can't flash. So you don't get one on that side. It happens on this side the way it happened when it's going that direction. So anyone that knows how I am with redstone, I'm not content with a bulky circuit. I want to get it as compact as I can. This right here is my first attempt at compacting. I increased the height by one, which reduced the width by four. And that was very fairly simple to accomplish. Basically, I took this whole piece here. Well, I took the RS Nor latches, move them up one in order to take this bulky piece here and compact it down to this. Since there were two torches, uh, it was pretty obvious that it didn't really need to do that. It was a nor followed by a nor, so you can just have the original signal going through. So I just had a repeater pulling the signal from this line here and putting it up to this dot of redstone here, which can trigger and hold off this redstone torch which is the same as the redstone torch right there. It's the same position, just with the supporting block changed. And because I did that, I had to bring this line here in one. If you look over here, it is in one here, but it branches off to the side in order to meet up right there. But by bringing it all the way in one, I had to change the location of the repeater. It's fine. The redstone hooks up properly, so oh, that's all good. Oh. So, as you can see, slightly compacted one still works. And next thing I did was removed the indication and reset button because that's not an actual part of the circuit. You don't need that if you're going to be using it in something. Well, you might decide to use it, but you don't need it. So here we have the compact design itself, using just this, the original, well even the 
the original and my slightly modified version are both a 15 by 6 by 5 footprint. This one is a 9 by 6 by 6 footprint, which is significantly different if you're thinking about how you're trying to fit everything into a compact space. If you're building a maze or something like this, maze, parkour, challenge course, whatever you want to call it, you're going to want to use as little space for the redstone as possible. So by doing this, well, it frees up a little space. And some obvious uses for it. Let's go ahead and extend this a little bit. Okay, let's say you want to have a course where there's potential for the pathway to change depending on which way the player is going. The circuit's perfect. They go this way, you know, it triggers this side, I think. Yeah, it triggers this side. And right here is where the output powers or unpowers. So let's say you have a redstone torch on this side. And that goes to uh, maybe some sticky pistons to block off one pathway, open up another one. And then you can have it so that each side resets each other. So you go this direction instead. Oh no, not this direction, I just went. You go this direction instead. You could have it set up to where you know, the uh, output on this one will hook up to this one and reset it and vice versa. But you have to be careful doing that. An easier way to do it would be to hook up the torches to cause the reset. You can hook up the what am I saying here? Hook up the torch to bring a line over, probably above, because that's the easiest way to do things rather than under. And just you know, hit right along this line here to reset it. Another thing that you could do that I think would be a rather fun idea would have a direction confirmation block. So you have a whole bunch of these lined up together and you have to go through a certain pathway to be able to uh, unlock a door. That would be a really fun design, something that I think I might do eventually. So let's talk a little bit about some future plans for this. I do plan on make, working on compacting this even more. Probably change the height again to be able to reduce the width. I can't do much about the length because well, that's there's some limitations to how you can set up an artist or latch, especially when you have two of them. And if I do manage to get it smaller, I'll go ahead and let you guys know, so if you want to use it, you can. But other than that, I hope everyone has a great day, and hope to see you guys next time.